All right, so in this video, let's take a look at uh, finding the derivative using the product rule. All right, so let's look at the product rule. So if we take the derivative of two functions, say f times g, with respect to x, then the derivative is using the product rule is the derivative of the first function so it's the derivative of f times the second function plus the derivative of the second function derivative of g times the first function f so for the product rule it's the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the first function. All right, so let's take a look at some examples. <coughs> so here we have f of x equals 3x to the fourth times 2x squared minus 1. So our first function is 3x to the fourth and our second function will be 2x squared minus 1. So taking the derivative, I've got the derivative of f of x. It's the derivative of the first function. So using the power rule, the 4 comes down. So 4 times 3, that's going to be 12 and then subtract 1 from the exponent so 4 times 1 is 3 so there's the derivative of the first function times the second function 2x squared minus 1 plus the derivative of the second function which is 2x squared minus 1 so the derivative of this I bring the 2 down so 2 times 2 is 4 subtract 1 from the exponent, so 2 minus 1 leaves me with x to the first power, and then the derivative of minus 1 is 0. So there's the derivative of the second function, and that's times the first function. Alright, so let's take a look at what we have here. We have the derivative of the first function, so that would be the derivative of this first function well let me let, instead of doing using an f because we have an f up here this would be the derivative of 3x to the fourth with respect to x times our second function so times 2x squared minus 1 plus the derivative of our second function okay so this is the derivative of the second function times the first function that's what we did in this step okay this derivative here is the 4x this derivative here is the 12x cubed All right, so now let's simplify this. So I'm going to distribute. So I get f prime of x is equal to, and distributing that, I get 24x to the fifth minus 12x cubed plus, and then that's going to be uh, 12x to the fifth. All right, and then I combine like terms, so I get f prime of x is equal to, and so I can combine these here, so that's going to give me 36x to the fifth minus 12x cubed, and this would be our derivative. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right. 
So here I have my first function. Here I have my second function. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rewrite this 1 over x squared. So I'm going to have f of x. I'm not taking the derivative yet. That's going to be 1 plus x to the negative 2 times x squared plus 1. Okay, so I just rewrote the 1 over x squared as x to the negative 2. Alright, so now I have f prime of x is equal to the derivative of the first function. Okay, so the derivative of 1 is 0. And then the derivative of x to the negative 2, that's going to be negative 2x. And I subtract 1, so that's going to be to the negative 3 times the second function, x squared plus 1. Okay, plus the derivative of the second function, so the derivative of x squared, I bring the 2 down, subtract 1, so that's 2x, and then the derivative of 1 is 0, and then that's times the first function, 1 plus x to the negative 2. So now, let's simplify this. So I get f prime of x is equal to, so I'm going to distribute, and I'm going to distribute here. So this is going to give me negative 2x to the negative 1, I add the exponents, minus 2x to the negative 3, plus, and then this is going to be 2x plus 2x, and then this is going to be to the negative 1. 1 plus negative 2 would give me the negative 1. And so now I get f prime of x is going to be negative 2 over x. I'm just writing these exponents as positive. Minus 2 over x cubed plus 2x plus 2 over x. And then here you can see that the minus 2 over x and the plus 2 over x, those cancel. And so I'm left with f prime of x is equal to and I'm going to write the 2x first, 2x, and then minus 2 over x cubed. And this would be our derivative. And I hope this uh, video helped. This was just taking the, using the product rule, using polynomials. I'm going to, I'll try to get some up using the product rule with uh, trig functions and stuff like that. And hope you check out my other videos. Thanks.